It is I, Top Bog Spoth, a, a magical wizard with infinite power who hasn't died six times this campaign. <laughs> Lightning bolts. Nobody can ever stop me. Wait there, Mr. Mr. T uh, Spoth Bog. It is I, King Anus, the... Uh, King Bob. <laughs> King Bob Azora High Reborn. Uh, hang on. Uh, what, what's in Azora High, you say, Sonny? I, I don't actually know. Me, me neither. Look, as I destroy your empire with my magic dragon. Uh, ah, ah. This was not expected in my plan. My voice has changed. Ah. Uh, uh, oh no, I can't defeat him alone, if only I had a friend. Uh, Yar, it is us from the south, the pirates- Oh shit, hang on, that's the wrong image. The pirates and stealer of your plunder, d uh, d Toad. Shit, what's his name? Oh Christ, I'm gonna have to look, hang on. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Emperor- em Emperor- Yar, Emperor Ilario, and together we will close the, the labyrinths. We will close them. Welcome back to the adventures of King Bob the Meek of North Valeria, Azora High Reborn, whatever the hell that is. And here he is. He, last episode, hatched a dragon. And of course, in my classic stupid way, I asked you guys if I could find the dragon. I asked you guys, it's an attractive dragon. Oh, it's a beautiful dragon. This dragon is one of the most splendid ever seen upon Earth. Okay, there we go. Um, I asked you guys last episode, what do we want to name... Quil Quillo Narion. What do we actually want to call him? That's his dragon name. We need to give him a human name. One pronounceable by the tongue of man. And you all gave me a great answer. Uh, the top most upvoted comment with something like 5,000 likes was uh, name him after our father. Our, la our late character's father. Our character's late father. Anus the Scarred. You would like me to call him Big Anus. Big Anus the beautiful dragon. Some would say that this dragon, this anus, is the fairest ever seen upon Earth. A splendid anus, some might say. Let's go and conquest. So, unfortunately, because anus is so small, he actually can't do much damage yet. But when anus grows to be quite sizable, we could probably go ahead and wreck Yonkai in no time at all. Now, we don't get a castle spell, I believe, until the dragon is at least five years old. I might be wrong about that. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But basically, we, we can declare war. Oh, you know what? In fact, I could probably check, can't I? Um... Oh, we don't even have access to the to the dragon castle's belly. Oh, you know, I think we need to tame it first, don't we? We need to tame Anus. Um, has the trait dragon? Any friend slash dragon has the trait dragon? Uh, dragon, right? Why can't we tame it? Um, any friend slash dragon has the trait? Oh, oh, right, right, because right. okay. So what it's checking is all of his friends, but it's only actually displaying the condition for his for his first friend. Um, so we're, it's, it's checking this dude. So he obviously is over the age of two, but he lacks the trait dragon. So if the, the dragon, you know, fulfills this, it will tick. Okay, I, I see. So the actual issue is that the dragon needs to be older than two before we can tame it. After that, that'll give us access to the castle's bell and we can actually see what we need to declare war on Yonkai. But basically the way this works, it, it almost acts like an invasion castle's bell eye, Um, in the sense that you target entire kingdoms. Uh, but when you, they, they basically get an option before you actually go to war. They have the option to surrender to you and swear fealty. And there are some other caveats to the war as well. If you kill them during the war, you just basically win the war and inherit all of their titles. So ideally, what we probably want to do is go to war for like, say, say Astapor, for example. Go to war with Astapor, not push for peace, not super peace, until we've killed this dude. So actually try and, you know, actively assassinate him. Or if you had access to dark magic, you might want to taint and touch him or something like that. Or even try and burn him alive. Not that we'd ever do anything like that. So that's probably the plan. Um, and I'm going to try and implement that going forward. We sort of discovered that during the Top Box Buff campaign when we conquered E.T., if you might remember. So that is definitely something I'm going to try and do with this dude as well. We've got a long way before that's going to happen. Now, one thing I'm concerned about is our character is 61. And we're technically not immortal yet. We just get bonus health from this. So to become immortal, we actually have to be resurrected by R'hllor. Now, one of the only ways to get resurrected by R'hllor is dying in, like, glorious combat. So we might have to go and pick a fight with someone. Maybe, like, Slave Raid, leading armies ourselves, trying to get ourselves killed uh so that we can hopefully be resurrected now it's not guaranteed either that we will be resurrected it's only a percentage chance so our son oh honestly you know he's in such a good position he could take over no problem i was going to say that we need to make sure that our kid is ready to take over um in the event that we do die and not come back 
But this dude, I mean, look at him. 23 martial, genius, attractive. I forgot how just great this kid was. Now, one thing we want to do before we do that is build a dragon pit. So a dragon pit will prevent the dragon flying away on death. So if we die, our tame dragon will normally go to the nearest volcano, which will be somewhere in Valeria. Probably go to, like, Draconis or some shit. Um, as we saw in the Top Box Buff campaign, they flew to a shy. And if you're in Westeros, they generally fly over to Dragonstone. So... Ideally, we want to build a dragon pit so it can't fly away in the event of us dying so that our next character can just tame it. Seeing as we have the blood of Asura High, we have the R'hllor, we have everything, um, we should be able to tame it fairly easily. So I think the plan is really wait a few years. So about five years, which honestly won't take long if we're just, you know, building up, going towards that type of thing. Wait five years, become a dragon rider, build the dragon pit, then go out and try and get ourselves resurrected by R'hllor. That stage will be an immortal dragon rider, Azora High Reborn. Uh, I feel like... All things considered, this dude is the perfect character to try and fight Top Box Buff in the Shadow. Now, if only we had a friend in the South uh, who could also help out, but I don't know if there's actually a way to get the Gogasoft. It would be nice to see, like, Illyrio and and uh, and um, King Bob. I can never remember his goddamn name. King Bob joining up against Top Box, because obviously Top Box is a major, major threat, seeing as he's literally bringing Bruin to the realm. Holy shit, look at how much of... No way, hang on. If we go Dynasties... Um... No, Dynasty... Dynasties? Oh, right, yeah, we'd have to break it down still. Uh, wait, the Bruins have a dynasty name. Am I reading that right? Oh, they actually do technically have a house. Anyway, what I was going to say is, is a lot of these lands in YT, like central YT, are all falling into ruin. Oh my god, all of this is ruin as well. No way. Holy shit, that's insane. So the old capital of YT, I believe was Yin, um, is, is completely ruinous. He's actually destroying the world, like legitimately destroying the world with his disease here. People are just, it's like a zombie apocalypse, essentially. They're just going insane and killing one another. So, ideally, the sooner we can stop this, the better. Now, I do have eyes on Slaver's Bay uh, outside of Dragon Conquest. If we take the rest of Yonkai by, you know, um, border disputes, du jour claims, fabricating claims, which we do have. We have a Clement Gishkar point, but before we declare a big war like that, I'd rather get some other troops under our belt. Do we have anything else we can push for? So, Anagaria fell back into ruin, so I could drop some gold rebuilding this. A little bit of a pain in the ass, but I feel like we should definitely just get it cracked out of the way. Um, let's go ahead and give these out to just randomers. There we go. Now, what about... I was going to say, what about Volantis? Because Volantis are under the Iron Throne, but Iron Throne is currently fighting Aztecs. Um, specifically, 53,000 men versus um, probably close to 200,000. Yeah, 185k. Basically, the Iron Throne is about to lose to the Aztecs, more importantly. This might be a good time. How many men have we got? 23,000. This might be a very, very good time to try and claim Volantis from the Iron Throne. Now, do we have any Castle Bella against him? We do have border disputes. Um, we've got De Jour claims on Teleria. So they actually did grab part of North Valeria there. Um, it'd be really, really nice to obviously grab Old Volantis, the Red Plaza. We could try fabricating claims on it, but as we're already fabricating claims on, on this area, which I think is more important, we'll, we'll wait until we've got something valuable there. Could fight the Dothraki. Um, besides that, honestly, the realm is quite stable right now, so we've, we've got very little actual management to do. Oh, that's very cool. The Golden Bank of the Rhoyne. Your Grace, a new bank has been established in Kohor. Magister Donan Quarit of Kohor has used his wealth to found a new Golden Bank of the Rhoyne and has built a grand new bank in the city to house the vaults of coin. Interesting. Uh, apparently so. Interesting news and interesting parties. Everybody's interested. Um, he is in massive, massive debt, though. Kohor. Oh, man. Kohor have taken the entire Rhoyne. So this is the, uh, so this area sort of here. This, this river is generally referred to as the Rhoyne. Um, the, the river is the Rhoyne, I should say, but, but the realm around it is the Rhoyne. And that's where the original Dornish people were from. Uh, so that's kind of cool. It's, it's sort of a classic uh, destroyed kingdom that you could, you know, potentially play as and rebuild. It's kind of a fun playthrough. But it's really interesting the cohort managed to grab that and, and obviously turn a bank. I'd really like to find a bank as well. I feel left out at this stage. It's one of the only things I actually haven't seen in CK2. Um, now, we actually can't do it unless our domain size is one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we have right now... So business focus, we've got stewardship. So to found a bank, that's what we need. And then we need a thousand gold. I can't even see the option. I genuinely can't even see the option here. Maybe we're not allowed to anymore because we're like a kingdom level title. Um, maybe we do just need a domain size of one. I might test that out before I actually commit to it. Because obviously if I give all my land away and then try and build a bank, we can't do it. That would be a massive pain in the ass. Let's create some fake valuables. Um, fool's gold, gemstones, fake pearls, can fit silver currency. Do we have, or are we lacking any artifacts is probably the real question. Um, we've got some crappy bows. We've got Quilnarion's Whip, which we obviously need to rename to. Um, rename to... If we get rid of that, thank you very much. Uh, this is now called Big... Uh, A... A... Anus? A... A... Anus. There we are. Big Anus's Whip. 
Um, it's just big anuses whip. There we are. Right, okay. And then we've also got on a rack from somewhere. Somebody said rename our sword to Lightbringer, which I think is probably a much better idea. Um, seeing as it is a Valyrian steel sword, it's forged in dragon flame. I feel like it's a more appropriate Lightbringer. We don't need that fake Lightbringing. Lightbringer. There we go. We don't need that fake one when we've got this much, much cooler version. We give that one away. Just sell it as a trinket or something. Right, okay. Um, Fool's Gold... Again, probably not a bad idea, but I believe we that replaces the Dragonstone bracelet slot. So we don't actually need that. Gemstones is just a stackable 0.5 prestige per gemstones. But it's every two years you can make one of these. So you take years and years before this becomes valuable. We've also got fake pearls as well. I believe that's the necklace slot. So I'm going to do this one just because we don't have one. Um, add to collar of pearls. There we go. And we should be able to equip that now and get plus one vassal opinion. Well, that was worth it. So I feel like going for Exalted Monk's Men right now is probably the best one. Vassal Opinion improved by 5, gain 100 prestige. We're so close to doing that anyway. We might as well just declare whatever war we, we, we can declare at this stage. Marine is actually separate now. Um, it's Oh, it's part of the Kingdom of Marine. Now we have a claim on the Duchy of Marine, right? So we could actually go for that Duchy level title just to get some prestige. He's got 1,000 men. Oh, we could always just slave raid him. That would actually give us a, a tangible benefit. So I'm going to do that instead. We're just farming out prestige here. Now I'd love to find a bloodline with this dude as well, one of the in-game ones. Not sure how that works, because technically we've already founded a bloodline as this dude. So I'm not actually sure whether or not we'd be able to do another one because of the whole Azora High thing. But seeing as it was an event-driven bloodline, we might be able to do it. I'm not entirely sure how the bloodline system works yet. I'm not 100% not down on that, based on the fact that I've played very, very little Holy Fury. Um, you know what, we might as well take those boats as well. Why the hell not? We always end up having way too many boats anyway, so why, why change the habit of a lifetime? Nothing like kicking them when they're down. So basically, Marine are supposed to obviously be this city here in the very, very corner where Yonkai conquested them. We took some of their land as well, and then the Dothraki basically picked them apart here. So, um, again, kind of feel bad kicking them when they're down, but also the, the slaves will help. Um, I've received news that my lover, Ray, my daughter, is with child. Hopefully, she'll be able to persuade her husband, my son, to be the real father. We can only hope. We can only hope. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's, it's related to him anyway. I don't know why he's complaining. All right. Move in, troops. Let's squad up. Should we get our guy leading the army and just roll the dice? Fuck it. You know, I'm actually going to do it. He's a madman, but I don't care. Right. Move in. Let's try and get our boy killed so that we can hopefully resurrect him. Now. Oh, my sister has died. Shit. That was my, my sister. Oh, she died from the scourge. Um, she does not deserve to be honored with a funeral. The scourge only affects the weak, and we are clearly not of the weakest. We are of the strongest. What we want to do. Oh, establish a new back. It's right there, genius. 16 stewardship. Um, oh, it's just 16 stewardship, 1,000 personal wealth. Is that really it? Okay. Um, room is available in the world for an open bank. So I believe only five new banks can be made. We need to leave the society. We need to be at peace. 1,000 gold will be very, very easy to get. We could just go slave raiding a couple of times and sell the slave camps. Um, we could also... Oh, shit, we need 16 stewardship. How close? Oh, well, we're one off. There's got to be an artifact somewhere that gives us plus one stewardship, right? Um, even just keeping with the business focus eventually will level us up to that higher level of stewardship. So I'll just stick with it. Fingers crossed. Oh, there we go. Nice. The, mo the monument promised by Lewis is finished upon the veil on it. It's revealed to be a statue of us. The crowd is smiling and gives a round of applause. I have no words. Gain 200 prestige. Boom. Ever closer. In fact, with this wall, we should be able to get um, Exalted Monk's Man, right? We get 100 prestige. Oh, shit. Really? Well, that's not quite enough, but we're, we're so damn close at this stage. This kid's claiming um, right to Marine, even though he doesn't belong to it. Oh, shit. Seek solace at your grave, my love. You get Lover's Memento. Giving us some health. Not that we, you know, really need any more health at this stage. Right, kill them all. Our daughter was born to... M Who? Oh, my daughter's husband. Okay, cool. Why Why tell me? I, I didn't even know I, who she was. Yes, your grace. We will search the dungeons at once. Release all the prisoners. Um, Can we not take them? Can we just take them as prisoner for ourselves? Um, Release all prisoners to whoever they know they belong here. Um, improve our relations with Master Resnak. Seeing as we might end up vassalizing him, and we don't gain anything from doing that one anyway, we might as well just release him. There's no one of value here. Oh, shit. Where's their... Oh, their capital's over there. Right, they're a kingdom level title. Um, my daughter, my granddaughter, who's... Oh, she is actually, a, like, a, 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 a non-inbred for once. Uh, no, you get nothing then, because you are clearly not of the strongest. Right, burn this all. Let's head to their actual capital this time, via their troops, I guess, and just kill them on the way. Even though we're at 100% plot power, I'm still gonna attack them anyway in the hopes that we can maybe get some prisoners and, and sell them off into slavery. I, I assume that's something we can do. I don't think they'll be released after the war is finished, especially if we enslave them before that. Um, I have to care for planning. Gazia, Go, Zo, Grazdan. Yeah, whatever. Um, do I want to buy... No, I don't want to buy slaves. I'm, I'm only interested in selling them. So, shame you can't mark yourself as never wanting to... Uh, maybe you can. What if we back out of the slave trade? Uh, maybe that will... I don't want to risk it for now. I'll, I'll mess around with that later. I, I don't want to try and, you know, accidentally free... A shit ton of slaves. No other value here. Um, we're taking Akatosh. Oh. 
Oh, no, it's Atakosh. I was going to say, by the Nine Divines. Um, right, so let's head over to... Now, I did see here we've got a Righteous Imprisonment against the dude that I've been sat here uh, antagonizing. And funnily enough, 36% chance for him to rebel. Now, if we declare rebellion... Or, or if we declare war on him and hopefully get him to rebel, we want that, that chance to be low as possible. I believe during a war, he has a high chance of successfully rebelling. Um, a slave for one of your pleasure houses has shown promise as a bed slave. Excellent. I'll take him immediately. His talents will be useful here. Uh, fuck it. Sell him off. Get rid of him. Honestly, time to do business. Anybody? Um, please? Hey, 75 gold. Man, this boy is, uh, this Ashai man is... Hmm. I'm not, I'm not commenting on that. I'm not commenting. Move on. Move on. Uh, so this kid wants peace. Again, we are going to wait until we've got this guy into rebellion. Oh, shit. If I don't do it quickly, though, he might just... The war might just end. Right. Please rebel. Can I just release him and then and then try again? Um, get out. Shit. <laughs> uh, we could just plot to incite revolt. I mean, that would also work. I know I should have been doing that for quite some time. All right. There we go. Now, hopefully, everybody would join that because, obviously, everybody's our culture and religion. He's a, he's a foreigner in our land. Or... No, you know what? I believe that is part of Valyria, isn't it? Um, that one is. Yeah, so he is, he is actually a foreigner in our land. So this, this plot is going to be very quick to succeed. Boom. Look at how close we are to fulfilling that goddamn ambition as well. All right, let's get these boys home. And then hopefully any second now, we are going to tick over to 4,000 prestige. Boom. Exalted amongst men. There we go. Right, now can we forge a bloodline is the real question. No. Um... What do I want to go for? Adopt a lifestyle, expand realm, build a war chest, or peace and virtue. Um, I guess, I mean, adopt a lifestyle? Why the hell not? Because that might prompt us to getting one of the stewardship lifestyles. You know, just plus one stewardship, and then we can actually go for our banks. And maybe maybe that'll work. Oh, hang on. That's cool. We can actually use uh, the, the power of the Red God to cure other people as well. We've got, like, proper blood magic going on here. Right, so let's take a look. Cure malformation. Um... Oh, shit. So we could, if any of our kids, so one was infirm. We've got, like, blind there. Uh, this person's infirm. So if any of our kids get, like, a terrible knock on the head, even, even us, I assume, would be the same thing. If we just become infirm from old age, we should be able to cure ourselves. This is very, very cool. Um, a little bit annoying that that list is so long, though. I'm not, not going to bother with that one. Um, we've got minus 22. Master Dana of Valeria for having his troops raised for so long. That's probably where we'd be doing our Mr. Worldwide World Tour. So hopefully that boy will disappear too soon. Now, what I did notice is we can also increase our obligations here. Go up to medium realm authority. Gives an extra 10%. Uh, man, do I really want to do that? An extra 10% levy size. It's not a huge amount, though. It's going to be like 1,800 men to piss off most of our realm. Well, I suppose that's not fully reinforced either. Um, so if we, it's, it's going to be an extra 4,000 troops for minus 5 opinion. And even then, it's, no, it's not, because it's only from vassals as well, isn't it? So it's actually only going to be another 2,000 men. So it's, it's definitely not worth it, I would say, for that, what is it, minus 10 opinion? Um, oh, it's another minus 5 opinion. So, oh, um, and the vassal limit, right, that's why I'm getting confused. Yeah, no, we won't worry about that at all. Oh, that's very cool. I've been reading the books of fire, and it claims that death is not something a true believer should be afraid of. Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned. Um, so 50% chance of getting stressed, which we can immediately cure with the whole, you know, blood magic thing. Um, lose a trait lustful, lose a trait cruel. That sounds incredible. I mean, lustful isn't the best thing to lose, uh, for hopefully obvious reasons. But honestly, losing cruel is massive. If we can turn Craven into brave, this character is a, is a 10 out of 10. Well, besides, well, let's be honest, Lunatic is definitely a, a bonus. This character is a 10 out of 10 if we can just get rid of Craven. So... Oh man, I'd love to flip to hunting focus, maybe after we've made this bank, because we're so close to actually being able to build it. Um, a little bit more gold, again, we could just slave, sell to slave camps or go on two wars, and, and that's that solved. One more stewardship, we need to leave our society as well. Um, I was only using them to create fake valuables anyway. Why don't we go to war with like, uh, what are young Kai looking like right now? 15,000 men. Nugis have 7,000 men. We're looking for weak people to basically take slaves from. Port Yoss, 18,000 men. My god, what about the Dothraki? 1,000 men, and they're also right there. Fuck it, let's do that. Um, slave raid, boom. Bob on the center. We want him to die this glorious, glorious death so that hopefully he can be reborn in you. Um, I don't think I need to really send in this many troops. In fact, what I probably should do is launch many different slave campaigns at once. Um, just because this is going to be so easy. Uh, Nomadland, by the way, you guys have told me how to do this, and thank you very much for that. Nomadland, uh, you just build a fort there, and it counts as occupation, so thank you for that. Your flagship, Steve the Dragon, has given years of good service to the North Valerian fleet. I remember building it all those years ago, but it's now aging. It must either be retired or restored at a substantial cost. 115 gold is cheaper than building a new flagship. And just like us, it will be reborn in flame? No, you don't really want to light fire to that. Um, it'll be reborn via the Lord of Gold. Thank you. Right, perfect. Now let's move in. Now again, this should be a very, very easy war. Each one of these is worth 400 gold, right? So... 
It's, I mean, it's just insanely valuable to do this every single time. So let's put a fort here. Um, Colo, what else do you have? Where's your capital? Oh, of course it'd be all the way over there. What is wrong with me? All right. Um, do we have to stay there while it's building? Oh, right. We have to wait there while it's being built. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. Is it even worth this? Should I just go straight for his capital instead of build a, build a fort there? Your Grace, I humbly ask you to intervene on behalf of the aggression of Lord Larion Galenkis, who has invaded my lands. Um, so this dude is pushing his claim on what exactly? Uh, attacking Archon Rachnek of... Mantarian slave raid on Borash. Wait, my vassal is attacking this dude for a slave raid? I don't care. That's absolutely fine. Who would I be to criticize him for that? We keep getting this goddamn event even though I haven't got any ingredients. It's just basically, basically losing us gold randomly every single time. I'm, I'm genuinely tempted just to leave the Alchemist Guild because it's costing me so much money. It's not worth staying part of it. And especially since we're so close to building a bank as well. Right. So, here's the plan. I thought of that an idea as we were walking up here. I was like, we're not getting any battlefield jewels. How can we get more jewels? It's very simple. Um, we go from the business focus to the war focus. And hopefully... Oh, we've got so many rivals. Uh, can we jewel any of them? Uh, how, how... What do we need to jewel them? Uh, duh, 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 jewel. Jewel Jillo. Um, I must be zealous and he must be... Okay, so we've got that one. Oh, I need to not be in a war and not be in a commander. But after that, we can jewel him. Now, our character's jeweling skill, I assume, is shit. Um... 60. Oh, God. He's a werewolf. Of course, he's a werewolf. He's got the Valyrian sword. We could just unequip that. That's not an issue. So you want to lower it as, as much as possible here. So take off your bow. Uh, take off your sword, sorry. Um, okay, that's good. Now, what else have we got? Have we got anything else we can remove to give him? Apparently not. All right, there we go. I'm not sure whether or not Marshall plays into it at all, so I'm not going to worry about it. I very much doubt it does. All right, so let's get this war out of the way very, very quickly so that we can... Oh, 99% just like that. Are, th are those his troops? Uh, kill them all, and then we can go home and duel people, hopefully to the death, and get resurrected. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. You are a kind man. Slaves. For me. Um, a, a group of slaves were captured in Reyes Tehin, and, um, were selected to join your personal collection. Thank you, right. Um, do nothing for now. All you boys head back to Valeria. Right, go back to Valeria. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you boys go and sit down. There we go. All right. Stop leading troops. Come home. Duel this man. So this man, why can't I duel him? Oh, he must be involved in a war as well. He is. Shit. Um, wait, is he? What's he? Oh, he's my commander. Uh, that explains it. Right, resign. Then we go to him. Jillo Nartos. He has a personal combat skill of 40. He might fuck us up. Let's try it. Let's fight. Um, my will is strong. The Lord of Light protects me. Unfortunately, that's a little bit too true. Strike. It's all over now. Oh, for God's sake. I accept. Back up on your feet. Game 15 prestige. For shit's sake. Um, Alright, let's try someone else then. Uh, what about this dude? Can we duel him? We can't even duel this dude. Oh, because he's in hiding. Uh, what about you? Can't duel you because I've recently been involved in a duel. Oh, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Right, so let's just take a look and see who is the best duelist amongst these people. So we've got this one here. Um, who has a dueling skill of absolutely nothing. And then we've got this person here who has a dueling skill of absolutely nothing as well. Could we just maybe go to the best person in our court and just duel him instead? Um, what if we go to, like, our... I see my Master at Arms is fairly fairly skilled. Uh, 75, you'll do. Uh, can we just duel him? No, we have to have... Okay, yeah, we have to have rivals or foes. That's very, very annoying. All right, um, I guess we'll just keep dueling this dude until eventually, hopefully, he kills us dead. Please, let's fight. Uh, what mistake is all he'll get? Strike. <gasps> Shit. Jillo is slain. God fucking damn it. We took off... We didn't even... Oh, hang on. We lost Trey Craven, though. That's incredible. We didn't even have a sword. Did we just beat that dude to death with our fist? What the hell? A pox. A pox is everywhere. And King Bob is lying down in the street hoping for some horrible infection to spread across his body and kill him dead. Oh my god, we've got a... Hey, there we go. We've got a revolt against this dude so we can at least lead some troops against him and maybe get ourselves killed as well. Please, somebody just somebody just kill me. Somebody just kill him. Take take Bob out. He's, he's done for. He's had his time. And now... We've, we've got to we've got to move on. We've got to move on into the flame and hopefully be resurrected is what I'm getting at. Okay, right. This is going to be a very, very straightforward war, I think. Apparently, we've got something here to siege down. What the hell is here? Oh, a trade post. Right, that explains a lot. All right, Borash is a colony, though. So, we could accidentally destroy the colony and, and sort of destroy our own domain here. Like, we'll lose this, this province, which would be not ideal. Maybe I shouldn't attack Borash. You know what? Bob needs to leave the troops. Bob, what? Hey, excuse me. Uh, stop hiding at home. Right, here we go. Leave the troops. Um, oh, their, their troops are on Elyria. Okay, right. This is going to be... Boom. We have destroyed... Uh, High Master... Li what? What did we just destroy? His boat? Oh, it's his boat. I was going to say, 
Highmaster Linux is destroyed and removed from his treasury. Right, there we go. Nice. All right, that, that'll, that'll teach him. And then if we could quickly maybe take this one out. Uh, if there's like an option, destroy the colony, maybe we should not do it. Hey, there we go. All right, easy peasy. Thank you very much. We can now revoke that and keep it for ourselves. We are four out of six on our domain, so obviously I am going to keep that. Thank you very much. And we'll take um, the castle of Borash as well, I guess. So now he's just a regular old mare. Oh, what a poor guy. And then we'll burn him at the stake. Burn him at the stake. I agree. I guess Quentin is on the list of people we need to duel. Maybe I should start, sw like, antagonizing incredibly powerful warriors. I have no idea. Did that say we inherited his collection of slaves? Oh, God, that's fucking terrible. All right, the Lord of Light will guide me. Strike. Oh, my God, he's just too strong. We haven't even got a weapon. Please. He quickly avoided his attacks, and now he's dead. Oh, good. Well, there's another one down. Um, right, we need to find, basically, the strongest man in the realm and start antagonizing the dude. Um, I'm gonna go like this, then. I'm gonna find characters, search around, sort by Marshall. Generally, we're looking for, like, a formidable fighter. I mean, my son would do it. I don't want to accidentally kill myself. Oh, our Master at Arms. Our Master at Arms has a possible combat of 75. Uh, my son has one of 20. 65. Oh, 90 there. Oh, right, that's Amadon. 90, okay. Um, I think we'll go for the 75, dude. So, we'll go for Farago. Um, let's start antagonizing this dude in the hopes that eventually we can duel him and die. Well, all this time trying to get me killed means that we can now tame a dragon. He's now above the age of two. I wonder how old the dragon actually is. Oh, four years of age. Oh, shit. We can almost use it in war as well. Tame a dragon. Now, this can also get us killed, thankfully. So, um, I'll tame the dragon. Off with the beast's head. Fly away, little dragon, or I won't take any action. Obviously, we're going to try and tame this big anus. There we go. You've successfully tamed big anus, and it will now spew forth fiery death. Thank you. The world is mine. Game of the Detroit Dragon Rider. And King Bob the Meek is set as immune to being pruned from the game. So basically with random courtiers, um, the game will just kill them off if they're not doing anything. If they're just, you know, random characters out there in the world. Uh, weird that it would tell us that. Thank you. Agor shall make a fine warrior. Game the trait, poor fighter. Not really what I'd have said. Now we want to build a dragon pit before we do absolutely anything else. Oh my god, it's 500 gold. Um, tame and chance times 5, hatching times chance times 5. They grow much slower. Life expectancy down by 20%, size, size growth down by 15%. Man. I mean, it's... If it'll stop it flying away... Alright, let's do it. Dragons locked in the dragon pit have the following effects. Might be a bad idea. My sister wife is covered in dirty pox. Excellent. No. Sickness and death await us all. Please. Oh, please die of the dirty pox. Okay, now hopefully our character will catch it too, but he's got such high health. I'm not entirely convinced. History is a subject that has always fascinated you, and you have spent the last few weeks studying the campaigns of the Valerian Freehold. Their conquest against the old Kishikari Empire, that seems the most appropriate. Um, I should devote more time to studying this. Gain student of strategy, Marshall plus one, thank you very much. How charitable, this guy is not calling in the debt that we owe his house, because he doesn't have a house, and he actually can't call the debt in because he's unlanded. Excellent, that worked out pretty well. Turns out, if you want to make some money, take debt from a dude and then kill off his whole family. Two 14-year-olds in prison, you say. What did, what did they do wrong? I have no idea, but we could, just a thought, we, oh, increase tyranny by five. What did they do wrong? I have no idea. I uh, enslave them? No, because they are my courtiers, so they're not going to be too happy about that. We can exile them, and that's basically all I can do. Exile, release them, or, can we not call them for trial? Why not? Um, oh, because they need to be 16 to be called for trial. So they've got to stay in prison for two years. Oh, America. My studies and training have taught me the general tactics of flanks and center. Um, I mean, obviously, we're going to take the center. If we're a dragon rider, I feel like that's that's pretty appropriate. My grace, I believe Sal has been in your custody for too long. 46 gold. Hey, I'll take that. That's absolute. So the reason our money dropped very, very suddenly is because I had to rebuild this goddamn trade route. We've got extensive slave labor, one more level, and we can start sl selling slaves for profit after that. I mean, we can anyway, but ideally, we want to keep always 50% in our capital, right? So let's go ahead and hit someone else while I'm just basically sat around waiting. What about this dude? He seems fairly small. Where's his capital? Might be the best question. Um, all the way up there in Sarnor. Maybe not then. Wait, is that his capital? Really? Um, where is his capital? Fucking horse lords. I have no idea. Oh, right. There it is. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm not going to march all the way up there to try and win. What about this dude? He's right here. That's his capital too. Um, can't declare war because if you don't have a border with him, we're bankrupt. Okay. Hopefully this guy sticks around for a little bit longer. Oh, God. Oh, he botched the treatment of my son. Oh, shit, but he's so good as well. Oh, ruthless, cruel, deceitful, arbitrary, dishonorable. Mm, he's slipping. He's slipping into his grandfather's tactics here. Into he's, he's slipping into anus. Um, I'll talk some sense into him. 
Let's, let's, let's give it a go. I don't want to get rid of my core position because apparently he's killed a lot of us before quite successfully. Um, unless he's too good, at which point... Wait. Dothraki? That's my... That's my hand of the king? Hey, why not? That's rubbing it in. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. We do, we do actually have to uh, border him or he's on the coast. So, unfortunately, that's not possible. What about uh, what about Astapor? Are they fairly weak right now? 12,000 men. Yonkai, how are they doing? 8,000 men. Obviously, we're going to go for Yonkai then. Dragon Conquest of Yonkai. So, any dragon has to have 10 martial. So, what that generally means is, is every time your dragon gets older by a year, it will gain one martial. Sometimes it can gain more. Uh, depending on its traits, depending on certain events that can happen. Obviously, if you've got it in a dragon pit, it's going to grow a lot slower. Uh, but this kid has a... Uh, uh, this kid. This dragon has a base of seven martial, so soon we'll be able to dragon conquest with it, fortunately enough. Um, I would give it, like, three more years minimum before we'd sort of expect to see that. But that's very, very good that it's grown that fast. Um, what about you, boys? Port Yosh. Did we not check these before? 8,000 men. I'll take it. That'll do. Your grace, Orion Targaryen has been defeated. His reign of misrule has come to an end and stability has been brought to King's Landing. Signed, Lord Paramount Jason of House Rain. So the reigns of Castamere actually overthrew the Lannisters. That's very, very cool. So, some some sort of in, inside uh, Game of Thrones story there is House Rain famously rebelled against House Lannister. And then Tywin Lannister basically trapped all their family in a mine and flooded it and killed them all. Um, so then that's where the song Reigns of Castamere comes from because he basically drowned them, right? Um, and their brains from Castamere. It's, it's a pun. But these boys seem to have won and actually are the lords of the Westerlands this time. So I guess they succeeded with their rebellion this time around. That's kind of cool. Um, and now the Targaryen's being overthrown. So now King Maerys of the Iron Throne, a tyrant at the age of 12. Excellent to see there. Uh, man, are, they, are we almost out of Targaryens? Are they running a bit low? 34. Oh, god damn it. I was kind of hoping we would be the last surviving High Valyrian house in the world. That'd be very cool. It's always way more convenient when they send troops over to the capital, right? Go and drop them off. Let's get Bob leading armies once again in, in the last sort of vain hope here to try and kill him off before I will have to wrap things up today. Right, so let's go to war. We are heading over to Port Yosh. And again, this is going to be our last slave level before we can start slaving for profit. So it's going to be 400 gold per war. We're going to turn in... Oh, I thought the game crashed. Christ. Um, we're going to be able to turn in a huge amount of gold as a result of that to be able to fund our bank, which hopefully I'll be able to do fairly soon. Again, this is one of the only features of the Game of Thrones one I've not actually seen at this stage, so it's kind of nice to see it before we uh, come out to my war on Master Baynar of Gozai. Yeah, no, we won't worry about that too much. What else have we got? Um, deploy the dragon in the siege. Wait, what? Oh, shit. So, to declare a dragon conquest, you've had a big, powerful dragon, but that doesn't mean you still can't use it in the siege. Um, I'm not going to... Oh, man, I should bother. Holy shit, they've got 10,000 defenders. Burn it all. Your enemies think they're safe on the other side of rock and mortar. Do they believe that petty defenses can hold back such fire? Dracarys. Big anus has been... <laughs> they maimed my big anus. God damn it. Will my anus ever recover? Oh, my God. It's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. Let's get the shit out of me. Written some release that you retreat to your bed chamber for the night. Your bed is warm and just you're about to drift off to sleep. You're a strange hissing sound. A snack. Oh, shit. What? You immediately roll out of bed before the vile serpent has a chance to strike the beast recoils and appears to have... The snake belongs to Master Agor. Why has he done that? Alerted to plot. Thank you. Right, Master Agor, where are you? Um... Wait. Wait, Master Agor? Master Agor? That's not Master Agor, that's my son. Yeah, stop that. Ruthless, cruel, favoured by R'hllor. Is he pitching son versus father? What is this? He's also, I mean, cruel, ruthless, deceitful, dishonourable, so clearly he's murdered other people in the past. Um, get fucked? How dare you try and kill the man favoured by your religion? As the, literally like a god reborn? Get out of here. Right, well that was very easy. My god, I thought we were going to die then. Oh no. Well, the, the, the assassination in hindsight, now that I think about it, we wanted that to go through. It's a real shame that dude saved us. If we'd have died, we might have been resurrected. Okay, um, excellent news. Where are all my men? Oh shit, there's a winter fever here. Okay, can't deploy the dragon anymore, so basically we've just got to hope that we can outpace the attrition. We could build a fort very, very quickly. Man, this war is going to be difficult to win now. Oh god, here we go. Is, is he going to die? Is he going to die? Eat ten apples a day? Are you a madman? I don't think I could eat ten apples a year. Oh, for freak's sake. Malaise. Okay, yeah, no, this, this slave raid is over at this point. Um, 
mainly because of the whole winter fever. White piece. Yep, there we go. Goodbye. See you later. I'm just going to put those troops down. It's 2,000. I don't give a shit. Right, there we go. Die. Have we got that high? No. Sack the court position. Where is she? I Ileona, get out. You're fired. Do not cure me. I need to die. Let me die. King Bob the Meek. After he was almost assassinated by his son. Yeah, sure, I'm impressed. Game one, Marshall, whatever. Please die. Come on. Fever, diarrhea, malaise. Winter fever, what is that? Health minus three. It might be enough. Get out of here. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, nothing. I should be a master of strategy. Adept of Marshall and stewardship plus one. Oh my god, we could just flip over to the business focus again and actually build the bank. Now die. Just do us all a favor and die. Moderation is the key. <gasps> You gave malnourished. Look at that. Two little eatings turned me into a shell of my former self. Does that give... It doesn't give a health malice. Are you serious? So we've got stressed. We've got winter fever. We've got temperate. That also doesn't give a health... It gives stewardship plus two, though. Of course it fucking would. Come on, die? Wait, can we find our bank now? Can we, can, we, can we make a bank? Oh, I think we still have to be on the business focus. Please, just die. A wealthy man from Slaver's Road has arranged to meet with you. He cleansed once, purchased not one slave, but several thousand. 400 gold gives us money for the bank. Yeah, alright. I'm, I'm absolutely going to do that. He just won't die. He just won't die. Nothing nothing kills him. He just... What? Oh. <laughs> I was like, is he a freaking dragon? He won't die. This man is an unkillable man. I mean, that's basically immortal, right? But I, I want to guarantee it. 69 years of age. He's had typhoid fever. Winter fever. Whatever the hell it's called in this. Longer than I think he hasn't had typhoid fever. This is absurd. Um, type of fever, stress, lunatic, again, doesn't give any health malice, malnutrition doesn't apparently, malnourished, doesn't give any health malice, it's so, what, in what world? Anyway, we can't duel anyone either, because, uh, because we're ill, so, I don't know, maybe next episode, I'm gonna do some crazy suicidal war against the Iron Throne, just, fuck it, fuck it, you know what, Teleria, I want it. Next episode, we fight the Iron Throne, we die at the hands of the Iron Throne, and then we come back at the hands of the Iron Throne. We're giving them a lot of credit for this. A big shout out to Zachary Harris, Harik, Sean Thornton, Haydock, Sedini, Tim Bragg, Loras, Vacuous Backers, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Tyler Birch, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Powers Presley, Asuna Kirito, Logan Thorne, Conspired Seed, Jimbo, Orgswolf, Facundo Vasquez, Tom Terrier 18, Average Gamer 419, Escape, and Jackson Whitman. Thank you all for your support at the ridiculously insane tier levels on Patreon. Thank you for keeping the channel going. And a big shout out as well to Nathaniel Limbo, Brandon McToniak, Euphrates, Jack Allen, Betamus Max, Panther Pearl, Gabriel Van Ders, Llewellyn Thomas, Nathan Flores, Zuron Debris, Haji Dumar, Alpha Scuff, Kevin Saunders, Don Conny 2 and 7, Zep McDougall, Joseph Beard, Jordan Cavill, Harry McGowan, Chris, Sir Paul the Swede, Asro, Nick, Will Wade, Noah Gallimore, Fraser Brennan, The Insane Pickle, and Adam Person. Thank you all for your support on Patreon as well.